Listen to me, hands off my exact real box car. Hello, Model Railroad friends. We've all been there. We're operating on someone's railroad. We're trying to uncouple the cars with some weird uncoupling tool. We see that all of the other operators at the session are starting to stare at us as we struggle to get the car spotted at an industry. And then you do the unthinkable. You pick up the car with your bare hands and you are now known as the 050 guy. Well, fear not. Today I'm going to be showing you three different tools that aren't really uncoupling tools that you can use to become a operations pro when separating your cars on your model railroad. So the first uncoupling tool I want to talk about today is a dental flosser. So these are gum go-betweens. Uh, these are the, let's see here, the tight um, version of these brushes. And they're just a flossing brush that essentially comes as a self-contained unit here. You can find these at any uh, drugstore, Walgreens, um, Walmart. They're about three to five dollars for a pack. You get about eight in a pack and you can even customize these things where you can cut up the brush and pull them out um, and make your own little tool. So the second tool that I want to talk about are the sometimes maligned bamboo skewers. So these things, uh, you can get a hundred of them for a dollar. Um, and so long as they're really sharp on the one end, uh, they, can, they can work as an effective uncoupling tool. Now out of the three options that I'm talking about today, these are probably my least favorite. However, in a pinch, when you don't have um, a brush handy, one of these um, flossy brushes, this would be the tool to use. The, the third uh, item, which I think is the best um, tool to use are these, they're micro brushes. So a lot of us model railroaders have micro brushes for uh, doing painting or different types of uh, modeling activities. But these items are basically their own pre-made tool. So you don't have to go and modify a, a gum uh, flossy brush. You can just use one of these um, right out of the package. You get 10 of them for about two bucks at any hobby store. Um, and I do recommend using the, the yellow or the fine version because they do have a nice uh, tip on them that you can use for uh, coupling. Bonus, when you're done using it as an uncoupling tool, uh, you can always uh, use it for modeling later. So long as you clean it out and keep the bristles nice and soft, um, it's a great tool to use for uh, uncoupling cars. The next tip for uncoupling freight cars is I recommend that you have all of the same style of coupler on your equipment. I have KD scale head couplers on my locomotives and my rolling stock and it makes it easier for me to use my uncoupling tools and it also prevents from cars coming randomly uncoupled in the middle of an operating session. And having standardized couplers is a great way to minimize derailments. In my next video, I'm going to talk about five different ways to minimize derailments on your model railroad. You can click on it over here and I'll see you there.